everyone, I'm Ethan with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Not all saints do their work out in the open, and not all of them have a choice. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Raphael Guizar Valencia, who was like a secret agent for Catholicism. Raphael was born in 1878 in central Mexico. As a youth, he was brought up in the faith. He spent a great deal of time with Jesuit priests and went to a religious school. From his early years, he wanted to be part of the clergy, and he remained on that path as he grew older. At 13 years old, he entered into seminary, and by the time he was 23, he was ordained. As a young priest, he performed missionary work across several areas of Mexico. His enthusiasm for teaching the faith earned him the position of spiritual director in the seminary of Zamora. However, the situation in Mexico was changing, and both anti-religious and anti-clergy movements were gaining traction. Raphael tried to fight against this by starting up a Catholic newspaper in 1911, but it didn't work out. Not only was the newspaper shut down by revolutionaries, but creating it had painted a target on his back. From this time forward, Raphael lived in continual persecution within Mexico. He wandered for years with no home, and the political climate put him in constant danger. He could have fled the country, but instead he decided he needed to continue his work in spite of the difficulties. To avoid detection, he went from place to place in disguise, acting the part of a salesman, musician, or doctor, depending on the situation. With these disguises, he was able to move about more freely and tend to people who were sick and suffering and offer the sacraments to those who needed them. He couldn't remain forever, though, and soon had to flee to the southern United States to escape those who were hunting him. He remained there until 1915, when he began to do missionary work in Guatemala. He was also invited to conduct missions in Cuba, where he worked tirelessly in assisting victims of the Black Plague. In time, he returned to Mexico, where he was made a bishop in 1919. He began visiting every part of his diocese, preaching at many churches, and continuing his charitable works by supporting earthquake victims. He also took a great interest in the education of young priests. He renovated a rundown seminary for this purpose, but it was seized by the government. Once again demonstrating his guile, he moved the seminary to Mexico City, where it ran in secret for 15 years despite continued persecution of the religious. In 1937, he suffered a heart attack that left him weakened. He spent the rest of his days managing his diocese while bedridden until June of 1938 when he died. He was canonized in 2006 and his tomb in Jalapa is today visited by many who seek his intercession. As Catholics, we should strive for honesty, but that doesn't mean we can't be clever. Raphael tricked those who persecuted him so that he could help more people and continue his ministry. God gave us these gifts of intelligence and cunning for a reason, but it's up to us to apply these gifts in a constructive, unselfish way. St. Raphael Guizar Valencia, pray for us. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic.